for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel we've got nine of cups and the hierophant so this nine of cups it's one of the most uplifting pleasant cards to receive in a reading it's known as the wish card it can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time now this card is showing happiness good things to come it also usually mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life if you're asking a yes or no type of question this is a powerful indicator of yes so it's about feeling blessed and satisfied with this nine of cups and it's clarified with the hierophant now the hierophant is an interesting card very interesting you could be searching for the meaning of life and you're considered to be a great loyal friend this type of person is called on for advice or help when they are called on for advice or help with some important issues their intelligence and empathy puts them in a position to provide a lot of support so this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone you know and they're usually quick-witted well-educated wise teachers marked by integrity this type of person they're the genuine article they're a true blue highly admired individuals they walk the walk talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions yeah yeah you don't have to worry about anything with the hierophant there's no BS with with this person so if you're asking love questions and you get the hierophant there is a love that cannot be broken not only a love but it's a very deep love and it cannot be torn apart so coming up for you around the second week of May um, for the present time nine of cups hierophant uh, is it, like I said, it's about, it's a wish card. A lot of your wishes and dreams can be yours. And because it's with the Hierophant, mm, it's all about being true. So, what we're going to have to do is read the rest of the reading to come up with a full picture for these two cards okay so why don't we just move right on over and let's take a look at how your person is seeing you now they see you as a tower and they also see you as a seven of swords now the tower it can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo which can be a disaster so it's important to roll with any changes it's likely that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there for you in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because change, it's the nature of life. So if you try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. That's only going to be a problem if you let it be. Because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some of them do come falling apart. Keep in mind, dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. And this is one of the ways that your person is seeing you. They see you enlightened by some type of disaster. Now... It's clarified with the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords, it points to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. It can sometimes mean prying into someone's life where you don't belong. Now, Cancer, if you sense this is someone's doing this to you, if you feel like someone is spying on you, you could be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who is giving you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. 
So this seven of swords, they see that trust. They see you having trust issues. And maybe suspicious. That's how they see you with the seven of swords. And you've been enlightened with the tower card. You found out something. And now something's coming, come crashing down. Something in this connection. It, it kind of falls apart. So they see you as probably, maybe you use strategy, tactics, some manipulation. Maybe you stalk them. Maybe you, you were spying in on them. Because maybe you didn't trust your person. So now it's all about rolling, maybe rolling with the changes or just realizing that um, some, maybe some people or situations are different now. You don't see them quite in, you don't see them quite in the same way or things are just different. Because you've been you've been awoken by this tower moment, and it's all because of maybe it's because of what you found out by prying in or spying on them, or but just by using strategy, and that's how they see you. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as this Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. Now the Ten of Wands, if you can see the picture, this man, he's walking forward. He's walking forward with these wands in his hand. Where it says you see them. Walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. So it's about feeling as though you're carrying a heavy burden. Now, you may want to look hard and see if there are ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you may find out that the burden you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's important for you to pace yourself now and try not to take on too much. So it's about a hard place in the relationship. That's how you see them. Some difficulties in this connection. And it's paired with the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords, you're likely to find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life. Could be about a few people. But don't ignore these and don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. Because I say this because that could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So it's about thinking several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. And this is how you see them. You see them as having mixed feelings about this connection. And they might want to explode. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands, um, they find this connection really difficult now. It's very difficult, and um, looks like they're just trying to. Mm, they got mixed feelings now, so they're trying to hold themselves together without popping off. Yeah. So let's move on over. Why don't we take a look at why it's happening? It's happening due to the Two of Wands and the Emperor. Now, the Two of Wands, it's about keeping your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, mundane and boring things, like eating right, getting enough rest. It can indicate partnership with another person. Could be business or personal or both. It's about staying mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. 
And if you're filling out a balance and you got this two of wands and you're reading as you do, just know that things are about to get substantially better. So it's about keeping your eyes on the prize. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Um, there could be two paths toward the future. So maybe two options with the two of wands. So someone could be planning to make more equal. Um, let's clarify this with the um, card below, which is the emperor. Because it's kind of vague, this two of wands. So with the emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. Um, when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and your focus. This emperor, it signals this, but it also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. And I say this because this emperor, well, the emperor does not use his heart. He only uses his head. So it'll be easier to make hard choices because you're not using your heart. Yeah. So it's about enjoying the assertiveness and confidence that the self-controlled focus brings. Yeah, because if you could master yourself, then you should be able to master other obstacles that life can throw at you. So the emperor is paired with the two of wands for why it's happening. The emperor could be a leader or a boss, some an arrogant type of person. They never want to come across as vulnerable. So you never know how they feel. But it's with the two of wands, so you or your person could um, be planning. Well, you or your person could have um, two paths to a new future. But why don't we, let's go over this, let's recap this reading, because everything is kind of all over the place. So, so we can get a clear picture. Now, the present time, we got this Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. Yeah, your wishes and dreams, they could be coming true in a brief period of time. It's just short of one cup. So this is a definite, definite yes. If you're asking questions, it's a very positive yes. And it's about um, the, the higher fit, though. Which is being true and honest and walking the walk and talking the talk. But your person, they see you as... They, maybe they caught you stalking them or you found out some information by spying on them or like I said using strategy tactics manipulation or maybe you, they see you as this type of person sneaky and so you found out something and looks like you were enlightened about something about your person or this connection and things fell down this connection looks like it's it's fall apart it's falling apart so you see them as now they're carrying a heavy burden this is a difficult connection and they want to fight you with the five of swords yeah and they're ready to just pop off they're upset disappointed because it looks like they didn't like how you went about what you did, Cancer. So now they, why it's happening, now they got two options. It looks like they could either, they could either choose a future with you or go in a different direction with this two of wands. 
But you wouldn't know it. They're not going to let you know. They're keeping their thoughts to themselves. Yeah, because the emperor is there. So, yeah, this is, it looks like this is their way of punishing you uh, for what you did. You used manipulation and strategy there. So, this could go either way. It looks like you're probably wishing and hoping, because you got the Nine of Cups for the present time, that things were more true with the Hierophant. You wish this connection uh, or your person was more genuine, or they maybe wish that you were more genuine in, in going about how you found out whatever you found out. They wish you didn't use strategy manipulation they wish you were more like the hierophant more more real more keeping things real instead of spying and stalking because um uh, you could have been their wish or they could have been your wish now it looks like there's a tower moment things are falling apart because of the game playing and now it's difficult and there could be a lot of fighting right now and so someone's deciding it looks like maybe your person is deciding to which path to take with the two of wands but you wouldn't know it they're going to be silent about it because the emperor doesn't express their well they don't use their heart so They'll probably be, put it this way, they'll be re they're going to be really cold. Really cold about what's going on. Yeah, really cold and probably... Mm, you might feel like they're shutting down, but they could be thinking about which road to take, which option to take towards the future now. So it could be with you or it could be another path with this two of wands but it looks like at some point you were their wish or vice versa they was your wish come true but something was found out and it caused a tower moment so now it looks like it's at a at a crossroads with the two of wands because mm, right now you, you or your person I think it's your person they just don't know which way to which way to go. Two options: to stick with you or to take another path. So that's what I got for you, Cancer. Cancer. Cancer.